So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to um, we got to we got to this stage here. So what that means is um, if you're trying to create a barrel of let's say a radius of five and the small radius of of three and the height of seven, if you're trying to create this barrel here, if you're trying to create this barrel here, then um, then you would put this into into the H for and then you would put um, the three into remember the three or you would put the three into into the small r and then you would put the five you would put the five into this um, this big r here so this thing here well if you, if you get a um, a 3d graph plotter if you punch this in here it should give you a barrel where the radius is five small radius of three and the height of seven um, so, so that's what this thing here means. So now let's try and work out the volume. So now that now that we've got an equation for this um, for this ellipsoid, which is given by this thing here, we um, we we want to integrate it. Use uh, solid um, of revolution, uh, and 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 then we, we we're gonna we're gonna integrate it from zero to h, uh, and then each step of the way we need to pi or square it. So we. We get the area of the uh, of the disks and then sum up all the disks. So that's the idea here. So let's let's just look at this this bit here. So looking at this bit here. So at, at the moment this picture is in 3D. So we we want to um, I, I want to translate it to 2D. So looking at this, this is positive because we, we're moving along in this direction here. So I, I want to make this thing here. Looking at this, this is Z in the positive direction. So this here is z in the positive direction. So this here is z in the positive direction. And then this is y in the positive direction. This is y in the positive direction. What I'm trying to do here is I'm, I'm trying to translate this 3D image. Looking at this here, I want to turn the 3D image into a 2D image. So, so looking at this bit here, we are summing up everything uh, from here all the way up to a height of h. So we are summing up everything from zero to h, um, so so the idea here is this: we're gonna we're gonna sum up everything. So we are going to sum up everything from zero to h. From zero to h, we are moving in the z direction because looking at this, we are moving in the z direction. So it's gonna it's going to be something d z, and then um, uh, and then well, don't forget we, we by us doing this revolving at 360 we are only getting half of the barrel so the so the volume is equal to two times this so it would be pi and then each step of the way we need to know the height well the height is given by by rearranging this to make y the subject which is this thing here so the height this this height here is given by this well don't forget when you when you make y the subject you're going to have plus minus but we don't really care about the minus version so let's just ignore the, the minus version and consider only the positive version. So let's start again here. Let's start again. So remember the the uh, the height, the function here is given by by this. So we so the whole volume would be given by well we're going to move along in the d z direction. Each step of the way we need to know the height. The height is given by this. The height is given by this thing here, so that would be um, that would be. Uh, hang on, bear with me. So this thing here is this thing here. We need to square it. So when you square a square root, all that's left is this bubble here. So that's this bubble here. That's uh, that's this bubble here. Hang on, let me think. That's this bubble here. So uh, and then and then pi is a constant. You can take it out here. So that would then give you that would then give you this here. Okay, I, I, it's badly been it. Uh, it's badly explained, but I hope you can see that from here you can jump to here. Okay, because this y here is this thing here, and then when you square it, uh, then then you then you would get rid of the square root. So all that's left is this thing here. That's this thing here. Okay, so so now it's just a matter of us integrating from zero to h. Integrate it from zero to h. We are summing up all the all the disks. Okay, so so uh, the the volume is given by 
is given by this thing here. So don't forget, capital R is a constant because um, because going back to this, going back to this, capital R. Once once you once you said you've got a barrel of let's say five meters and and small r is three meters. Once you set this to be five and this to be three, then then capital R is really a constant. Uh, small r is also a constant. It is this z that's a variable here. We we are moving in the z direction, so z is a variable. Uh, small r and capital R they're they're constants. So when you come to integrate. Um, when you come to integrate this, bear with me. When you come to integrate this, it would be r squared z when you integrate it. Because if, if you if you differentiate this with respect to z, then it's just going to give you r squared, which is this thing here. So um, so integrate this, that will then give you this. And then this is really just a constant. So when you integrate this, it will be um, a, a third. Well, when you integrate this, it will give you this because it's going to be one notch higher than this two here. So that would be z to the power of three. But then you need to divide by three. So you need to divide by three here. So anyway, integrating this, that will then give you this from zero to h. And then you would put this into here, put this into here. That will then give you this whole thing here and then tidy everything up. And the volume will be given by, will be given by this thing here. So the volume of that barrel is given by is given by this. So now let's check it. Um, if we um, let me think. If, if we if we turn this formula into a sphere, meaning if, if we make this to be capital R, okay, and then and then this small r, if we set it to zero, if we set it to zero, and then if we set the the uh, the height to be capital R. Then, then, then we're going to have a sphere. Then we're going to have a sphere. We're going to have a sphere because because the height is the radius. The, the, the height is capital R, which is the radius. So this is our formula for the barrel. But if we turn into if we turn this this barrel into a cylinder by making this to be capital R, small r to be zero, and the h here to be capital R, and then now we will have a sphere. Remember the volume of sphere is given by this. But when, when we turn our barrel into a sphere, um, this would be capital R, and then we would put the zero into the small r, and then we would put the uh, r into the, into the height, in, into the height. That would then give us this thing here. So now uh, this thing plus zero squared, that would be that would be blah blah blah. That will give you a volume of this thing here. So you, you notice that the volume of r. Well, we turn that barrel into a sphere, and it happens to be the formula of, of, of the sphere. And then also, th this is our formula for the barrel. Let's turn this barrel into a cylinder by making this R to be capital R. So, so hang on. So our next step, bear with me. So we are going to check our formula. Remember, this is our this is our formula for the barrel. So we're going to turn we are going to turn this barrel into a cylinder. So we are going to make small R to be capital R, so make small r to be capital R. This capital R, oops, hang on, uh, somewhere around here. So make small r to be capital R, make small r to be capital R. This is capital R here, so, and then h is h here. So now we have a cylinder. So now we have a cylinder, okay? So, so remember the volume of the cylinder is given by this. Bear in mind that this h here is the height from here to here, which is which is it, Rh is from here to here. The cylinder, the the h of this of this cylinder is from here to here. Bear that in mind, okay? This h here is from here to here. Rh is from here to here. Just bear that in mind. So anyway, our, our volume, well, we're going to turn this barrel into a cylinder. So that would then, um, well, if, if we put um, if we put uh, capital R into the small r, this stays the same, and then h stays the same, and then that would then this whole thing here would then become this. So when when, when we put um, when we put capital R into the into the small r, we are really turning it into a cylinder. So turn uh, putting everything into here, this thing here will then become this, and then if you tidy this up, it will then give you this. So the our, our volume of our barrel 
is really given by this, which is the same as this. Remember, this H here is from here to here, but R H is uh, from here to here. That's why, that's why this is really the same as this. Okay, so so this formula works even if you turn into a sphere or into a cylinder. So the formula for the uh, the barrel is given by this. Okay.